Andy Schultz, also known as Sass, and I am the person who was crazy enough to initiate this day. Though so I have to say, I wish we didn't have to be here. I wish we didn't need a slot walk Johannesburg. I wish we didn't need marches protesting sexual violence, marches that need to point out that there's never an excuse. That no one by definition ever deserves or asks to be raped. When that policeman in Toronto thought it was okay to tell women that they should avoid dressing like sluts in order not to be victimized, I don't think he had any idea that that would spark enough anger in the feminine to start a feminine revolution right around the world. We are seizing back the right to be ourselves, strong, joyous, and sexual beings. We refuse to be shamed or controlled by the word slut or any other word that seeks to destroy our humanity. We will no longer be silenced. Viva the slut walk! Our sexual habits, our sexual choices, should not be taken as a reflection of our value as human beings. And until the virgin, the woman who is a virgin, has exactly the same precious human value as the prostitute walking the streets, until that happens, we as women and our sexuality cannot really be free. It's mine, it's all mine, it's my body, it's my clothes, it's mine, don't touch it, you can look, but it's mine. Last year, 60,000 rapes were reported in South Africa, which translates to about 5,000 a month, which is more than all of us standing here today. And that rape doesn't happen out of nowhere. It happens because of myths that are talked about in society that we encourage when we laugh at jokes about rape or sexual violence. Those myths come out of stories that we tell ourselves that say things like, you shouldn't have been there. You shouldn't have been wearing that. Stories that come from the top that say, she was wearing a kanga, so she must have wanted it. Or stories that come from the top that say, well, she wasn't injured, so it wasn't really rape. I'm here for the girls who were raped in their miniskirts, for the grandmas who were raped in their pajamas, for the men who were raped walking to the club, for the young boys going to church. And you are all here to say we do not want it anymore. <laughs> I think for me, I mean, as the chairperson of the women's sector, uh, we believe that women in their diversity, whether you're lesbian women, whether you're sex worker, whether you're women living with HIV or women with disability, you have to be respected. Rape is rape. You need to be respected as a woman. A woman comes first before anything that has to happen. Nobody deserves to be raped. We all have a right to be free, like do whatever we wanna be, want to do. So rape is like a no-no. So we should stand up and do something about it. Since South Africa has like one of the highest crime, like rape cases, oh, I'm also a rape survivor, so we have to stand up and say no to it. I was raped 23 years ago, and you know, nobody ever stood up for what it meant to me. I always felt that whenever my husband touched me, I was a slut. I wasn't worthy of him. And today slut became a different word. It meant that I am worthy, that I am loved, and I am precious. And to me, that's the most amazing thing of today, about today, that I'm free. For after 23 years, I'm free. We need to be able to wear what we want and not be labeled. Yeah. You know? yeah. I like to dress like a, I like to wear short stuff. And you know what? If you sleep with a guy because you like him, if you sleep with a guy just because you want to, you be, you called a slut. I was once told not to wear shorts because, well, it endangers me, basically. And another reason, back when we were in grade nine, a friend of mine, she was wearing a really short skirt with fishnets, and girls came up to her and they were like, oh, speak about the devil and in walks the bitch. You know, just because she was wearing a short skirt. And I have a very strong stance against rape because I am the result of a rape case um, so that's why this is a big thing for me and I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy that so many people came and stood up against this shit. We are here in solidarity with the 
um, the, rape. the rape issue. You know, it's still it's getting out of hand now, so it's time that we stand up and fight this together. We're against rape, especially amongst our community. Yeah, especially for us women. Um, and uh, the fact that um, dressing the, yeah, it has nothing to do with being raped and there's kids who are getting raped who are wearing huggies and old women are also getting raped and they don't dress provocative. So it, it has nothing to do with one's dressing and one's sexual preference as well with lesbians also getting raped and killed and it's also getting out of hand. It's unacceptable. What people want to do with their lives is their own business. It's an amazing cause, um, especially against rape and woman abuse and even the hate uh, rape against lesbian women.